Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, to talk about the response to the State of the Union, also the State of the Union, I uh, went through my Rolodex and I said, who is the most hydrated, non-cottony mouth, non-flop sweat uh, guest I can get? <laughs> And then just coincidentally, he's also the proprietor of one of my favorite uh, blogs of all time, of course, crooksandliars.com, which we check every day to steal their clips uh, for this program. Uh, John Amato, welcome to the program, John. Well, I thank you for that wonderful introduction. I am very well hydrated. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's... I'm hydrated at all times. Yes, you're always you always know, and and the one thing that I got to say about Amato too is that he always keeps water within arm's reach. He never has to walk across the room while giving a national speech. Uh, to, to to now, we we'll we'll get to the clip of uh, of um, of of the the gulp heard around the world because it really you actually really can hear it. But uh, oh my God! Yes. Now let's go to uh, Rubio's speech. Um, uh, give me your. I mean, let's put aside for a moment the flop sweat and the water drinking. Uh, let's uh, maintain the decorum and the intellectual analysis that this program is known for, uh, and then we'll get into the other stuff, which it's also known for. But um, but but you're the, you're the comedian, not me. Well, I mean, uh, arguably, you don't need to be one to make fun of that guy. <laughs> frankly, uh, it made it made professional comedians out of millions of people on Twitter. It seemed like. But but just let's look at this. Here's Rubio, right? He's set up to be the the savior of the Republican Party, which is not they use that term because the Republicans were using that term about Obama. What was new? What did he do that was in any way different in terms of policy now? Did he present in terms of where the Republicans are going to go now? Has he been able to turn the page? Yes, absolutely not. You know, if you were just to delete, you know, 100 or 200 words out of his speech, um, you could see Mitt Romney giving that same speech. And, uh, and no matter what a Washington Post writer writes about how he's the anti-Mitt Romney, that's categorically false. Um, you cut out a paragraph or two more, you have Paul Ryan. You, then you keep the speech, you can just pass it around every GOP, you know, politician, and it's, it's the same Nothing changed. David Frum wrote a piece basically saying he doesn't want rebranding. He wants, you know, more thought on different policies, and you don't get that. And so it's the same tried-and-true GOP tactic that they've used before, especially with Bush and compassionate conservatism. So, you know, and as I was watching it, because I do, you know, as, you know, obviously I'm on Twitter also, but I really, you know, want to be, um, I try to be very pragmatic when I watch these things. I don't try to be as political. And to me, he just, it, 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 that's the first thing I thought about. This could be Mitt Romney. Outside of him going to his personal story, that was the only thing that set him up differently than Romney. There was, you know, it was the same thing, blame the government, uh, blame, you know, Obama if he talks about expanding, you know, helping our crumbling infrastructure, he just wants big government. If he talks about trying to help our pre, you know, pre-K, he's just talking about big government. It's the same tired arguments that they just lost a major election to. And to me, it was ca actually kind of shocking as I was watching it. And then throw on his lip smacking uh, on top of it before he actually grabbed the water. Uh, I was really dumbfounded by what they wrote. It was boilerplate GOP. Yeah, I mean, that was... Uh, and the other thing that struck me was that um, he... He also was... Now, what was it that he was saying? Like, uh, I'm not... Um, I, you know, President Obama's wrong. We don't want people to starve. Uh, we don't want people to, um, uh, to, to uh, you know, would not go to school and whatnot. Uh, and... The, the, the strange thing was, is like, you know, uh, we don't want people, we, we don't want there to be, uh, we, we, we want there to be clean air. We don't want to poison the air. I mean, first off, how weird is it that you have to go up there and say that when <laughs> Obama has not said that? I mean, it's one thing if Obama had got out there and said, hey, the Republicans, they want to poison your air. Now, I, I happen to believe the, that, that the Republicans don't want to poison your air. They just don't care that it's clean. Uh, 
Uh, you know, that's the, that's the philosophy, right? It's like, uh, what, um, uh, Ron Paul said during, uh, the, uh, one of the debates, like, you know, if the guy dies cause he made bad decisions, then he dies. I don't think Ron Paul wants him to die. It's just that we're not responsible for those things. But when you've got to come out and say that a imply that you've been accused of that and then B just sort of like out of the blue claim that we don't, that seems to me very problematic. Right. I mean, who are you speaking to at that point? Yes, exactly. I mean, who he's talking to is just his base, hardcore Tea Party X, you know, GOP. To me, there is no GOP anymore. It's Tea Party. Um, but uh, that's beside the point. And he didn't reach anybody new. There was, you know, he's just talking to the same people that, that are, you know, from the resentment part of the GOP. And it's like, yeah, Obama thinks we want to kill babies. Yeah, Obama thinks we hate kids. You know, yeah. And it's like, that's not what he said. Um, and, yes, it was, it's quite odd. In other words, he, he, he uh, erects a straw man that's not there, and then he tries to knock it down. But maybe that's a response to the election loss. They just threw those things in there. And, you know, that was their big policy change, was to knock, let's knock down what Obama won on or something. It, it's really... It was a bizarre strategy, I have to, you know, I would definitely say. 